Hi, are you planning to settle in the Philly metro market? Do you want the best suburb for you, but you don't know where to go? Welcome to my series of all the best suburbs surrounding Philadelphia. Living in Philly has a lot to offer, but the suburbs can deliver affordability, more living space, great amenities, and more. Most suburban locations are only 20 to 45 minutes from Center City, Philadelphia, so it's not that far if you want to go downtown for a show. Do you have a family? Are you a senior? Are you a young professional? This video will answer all of your questions. Today I'm going to talk about one of the best locations to consider, Ambler Borough. I'll tell you about some of the landmarks. I promise to be short on the history. I know I love to tell stories about history and being from the area, I can talk too much about that, but I promise I'll be short. We'll take a drive down Main Street so you can take a look at this, up the town, sort of get a feel for it. We'll walk through a couple of neighborhoods so that you can see what you get for your home buying budget. And we'll look at the highest price listing if you stick around, which is a very cool property. So this town was built for strolling. If this is what you've been looking for, stay tuned. We're getting into it right now. I know I said I would be brief on history, but I love history and I wanted to tell you how Ambler got its name. Uh, this was originally called the Village of Wissahickon. The Wissahickon Creek is right down the road. And for years it was called that. It was a very small town, population like 40. And in 1855, the railroads came to the state of Pennsylvania. And this train line popped up. And in 1856, there was a terrible crash. There was a train coming in from Philadelphia. It was, uh, long story short, they had a terrible wreck and hundreds of people were injured and killed. And there was a gal, she was a nurse by the name of Mary Johnson Ambler. She lived maybe two blocks from the accident, which was right in the borough. It was, they were practically here when the accident occurred. And being a nurse, she heard the crash, she ran out and she, she did what she could to bring the injured to her home. She lived right there, she had a big home, and she, she and then many of the other uh, residents, the few that there were, helped her bring the injured to her home. That was in 1856. In the 1860s, they decided to name the borough Ambler after Mary Johnson Ambler for her heroic efforts to help save the people that were injured on the train. So I thought that was a great story of how the name came about. Just wanted to share it with you today. So now we're going to head over to Lindenwall Castle and I'll tell you some more about Ambler. Hi, my name is Linda Dale. I'm a local real estate broker born and raised in the Philadelphia area. And I get calls and emails every single day from people just like you who are considering or are ready to move into the area. I love the fact that people call me. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, please reach out to me. I won't know you need help unless you reach out. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or hop on my calendar for a Zoom call. But I'm here to help you make a smooth move into Philadelphia. So without further ado, let me introduce one of the most walkable towns in the Philadelphia suburbs, Ambler. Ambler has a main street that has turned into the area's hub for arts, culture, restaurants, and entertainment. A little bit of history here, just a little bit. Um, I want to tell you how Ambler developed. There was a pharmacist and a chemist by the name of Dr. Richard Madison that decided he wanted to start a business. The train line had just come into the area, into Pennsylvania. He lived in Bucks County, which is the next county over. And this was back in the 1880s. And he, so he took the train from Bucks County into Ambler. He stepped off the train and he looked around and he said, yes, this is where I want my business. So what he did was he created a business 
in the 1880s that grew to be the largest manufacturer of asbestos in the world. Dr. Madison, as I said, started his business in the 18, early 1880s, and the asbestos plant soon became the largest employer in Ambler. And by World War II, by, excuse me, by World War I, Ambler became the asbestos capital of the world. So Dr. Madison discovered an insulation product that was used to insulate homes. And by the end of the era, it was heating, it was put into siding for houses. It grew rapidly. He came to Ambler in the 1880s, and he purchased a 400-acre property and built this medieval-looking castle for his home. Uh, he updated it in 1912 to resemble Windsor Castle. At the start of his business, there were only about 70 residents in Ambler, and his business became so large that he built more than 400 homes for his employees. At mostly row homes, which have been since torn down in the 60s, they were torn down, but more than 400 homes he built. And across the way, he built homes for his senior managers, which we'll do a little drive-by so you can see some of these magnificent stone homes that he created for his top-level managers. So he brought all these workers to town, built up the town of Ambler. Prior to that, there were about 70 residents. And he, his home, he brought artisans in from around the world to build his home. Madison passed away in 1936, and they sold 350 of the acres to uh, a, play, uh, a church called St. Mary's Villas for Children and Families. And it stayed as, a, as an orphanage for 77 years when developers began to look at it. 2012, 2013, developers began eyeing up this valuable piece of property close to the train, 20, to 20 minutes to Philadelphia. And let's take a look around at what's going on now. They're building townhomes for up to a million dollars. Uh, they're actually developing the area behind the castle as an over 50 Community, a lifetime facility in which you can start as a healthy elder, a healthy senior, and it's a progressive care kind of a, a place so that as you age and your health declines, you will have uh, a place for the rest of your life. And that's this area right here. It's called the 501. They just began selling units in there. So right now, we're gonna take a little ride through town. I'll show you some of the sites. I'll show you uh, where uh, Madison's uh, top level employees lived. And then we'll do a little ride uptown and we'll end it with uh, looking at just a couple of the properties that are currently for sale. So you can see what you can get for your budget here. All right? Okay, so now we're gonna be driving past the executive homes that Dr. Madison built for his senior executives and managers. We'll start with this one on the corner. This entire strip along here is all the executive homes that he built. And these are quite unbelievable properties. Look at how huge they are. The street is uh, located, uh, Madison's castle is literally right across the street from the front door of these properties. Uh, you can see a lot of them have carriage houses in the back. I think this one you might be able to see back there. You know, back in the day they didn't have, you know, the cars like they have today. So they have beautiful carriage houses in the back and these stone homes are unbelievably beautiful. Uh, furthermore, take a look at the street, how beautiful the street is. Oh, it's all tree lined. These are old trees here. So we are located literally min uh, two minutes from the borough, from the main street in the borough. These are wonder this is a wonderful location here. This community is a wonderful location, and it's nice that they preserved the castle. So now we're gonna head to Main Street, Ambler, PA, and we'll see you there.
Okay, so here we are on Main Street. We're gonna take a little ride down and I'll tell you a little bit about the town. The population of Ambler is 6,489 people and it's kind of been that way for years. The median age is 36, 46% 46 male and 53% female. The typical family has 3.2 people, including children and parents. The weather, the summer highs are typically in the high 80s and the winter lows are 20, approximately 23 degrees with about 21 inches of snowfall every year. We get about 205 days of uh, sunny days and we get uh, about 104 days of precipitation. That's rain, sleet, snow, that kind of thing. Look at these cool buildings here in Ambler. Uh, I wanted to give you the pros and cons of the borough. The crime rates are lower than in many other suburban areas. There's also a very low poverty rate. The overall uh, education ranks very high on both the national and statewide uh, levels for public schools compared to other U.S. cities and states. And higher education is available in Ambler uh, because Temple University has a local campus right here in Ambler. It's very reasonably priced because it's a state school. And again, now we're going by the train station. Um, the school district, it's called Wissahickon School District, is rated number 32 of all the suburban schools in the state of Pennsylvania. And the Wissahickon High School here is actually ranked number 18 in the state. So good schools. Uh, there's a lot of demand here, primarily education-based jobs because of the university here. And the livability score is considered above average. This considers crime, the cost of living, and the residents overall happiness uh, as predicted through statistical models. We're pulling into the new, well, it's not new, but it's very, it's not old. Uh, we built this post office here maybe five to ten years ago because the population had grown so great there wasn't enough room at the old post office. So here we have the new post office in Ambler, PA. The cost of living here can be a little bit higher than other areas of the state and the country. On a scale of 100, Housing here is 116. It's about 16% higher than the national average. The housing is about 16% higher. The median home cost is 518,000. In PA, Pennsylvania, the median cost is about 235. Uh, groceries here are about 110% of the national uh, average. Utilities are about 98.2%. So utilities here are a little bit lower than other areas. Groceries are about 10% higher. And overall, the cost of living here is about 8% higher than the national average. An actually interesting point, healthcare is 97% uh, of the actual average. The medium cost of a three bedroom rental here is about $1,900 a month. The median household income is about $72,000. And for the past six months, we've had 43 sales in the borough with a median home price of $457,000, seven days on the market. And the sold price on average is about 105 to 106 percent of the list price. Check out this, some of these buildings. This is such a cool little town. Um, we're going to be coming up on the Ambler Theater shortly. It will be on your uh, right here. It was built in 1928. Uh, it was owned by Warner Brothers and it shows independent and art deco 
primarily foreign films. In 2008, we had a full redo. The whole place was redone inside. Isn't it cool? Look at that marquee up there. That is too cool. Um, this is the Wine and Spirits store, which we need to know about. We have a wonderful co-op here in Ambler. So now we're going to be heading over to a couple neighborhoods just to show you what we can get, what you can get for the money here, see if it fits your budget. Uh, we have all kinds of properties here, singles, townhomes, condos, and uh, we'll see you at the first house. So we're at the first property right now. The address is 120 South Spring Garden Street in Ambler. And this is a nice little neighborhood, literally one block off of Main Street. So very conveniently located. If you want to be in town, walk to the store, you know, walk to the pharmacy. So what we have here, these are all pretty much the same. Uh, they're three, this particular property is three bedrooms, one and a half baths, full basement, central air. Taxes here are only $3,138 a year. Uh, it's on, on a 0.05 acre lot. So you do own the land, the land that you live on. And you do have a driveway, uh, driveway parking out back. Um, it's priced at $299,001. $299,001. So this is what you get for under 300,000 in the borough. It's hard to find a nice place for under 300,000 in Ambler Borough. But these are pretty nice inside and the convenient location's awesome. So that takes care of um, the lowest price home I could find in Ambler. Now we're gonna go to the next price point uh, over to Mary Ambler Way. So we'll see you over there. So we're back at Station Square in Ambler. This is a newer home community, small, built in 2010, uh, next to the uh, units over at the Madison's, at the Madison Estate. <clears throat> uh, these were the, the best thing going town, for townhomes. Uh, but now that they're building over at the castle, uh, those units are 900 to a million dollars. These are very reasonably priced. The, the one we're gonna look at today at 108 is listed, uh, actually just sold for $510,000. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, home, central air, basement. Taxes are only $5,000 a year. Uh, quarterly HOA fee of $330 with a uh, uh, capital contribution fee, that is the cost to join the association of $750. Uh, it's about 2,150 square feet. And you can see it's an interior unit. It is, uh, it has a fireplace and it has nice sidewalks, street lights. And if you look off to the left here, you'll see we're located very close to the train station. People love to be near the train so they can get downtown or get to Bucks County. The rail goes each, you know, anywhere you want to go around here. You're also conveniently located to the highways, Route 309, Route 611, and just a, a short walk into the borough. So this particular property sold for $510,000. It was listed at 525, closed at 510, and. Um, that's about all I have to say for this property. It was on the market for 11 days. So now we're gonna head over and see one last property that I think you'll find extremely interesting. I did. It's currently for sale, just hit the market this week. And it's the most expensive listing right now in Ambler Borough. So let's head over now. Okay, so we're at the last property we're gonna look at today, 323 Valley Brook Road in Ambler Borough. This property went under, uh, a, excuse me, this property was listed 11 days ago. And as of this morning, when I looked it up, it just went under contract. This was the highest price listing in Ambler currently. Um, a very special property. It is um, 
not, you won't be able to actually see the house from here, but I'm gonna get you some pictures from the MLS to share with you what we have here. But this property was priced at 760,000. It's very, very private here. It's four bedrooms, three full baths, one and a half story, Cape Cod style, built in 1922. And we are still in the borough. The annual taxes are $4,500 a year. It sits on just over two acres, has an unfinished basement, public, and, public water and sewer. And I'm gonna read you a little write-up about the property that um, I think is interesting. So back in 1921, Garnet M. Deck built a cabin in the woods of Ambler. He and his wife Blanche raised six children here and opened the local hardware store that still operates on North Main Street. Three families have owned this magical home since it was built, the Decks, the Betts, and the Quins. Now it's your turn to buy this magical lodge and start your own memories. The house has 2,100 feet of space with a pond, and half an acre open playing field, pickleball court, and another one and a half acres of ground with hundreds of mature trees. It has a beautiful wraparound porch so you can sit and enjoy nature. The recent owners have made three bedrooms downstairs into a themed room for, air, for the full Airbnb experience. You can continue offering that rental property or easily reclaim the rooms for your family or the next generation. Maybe a master suite with great views of the property. At the lodge, you have the best of both worlds, a quiet and private island away from the hustle and bustle. And yet only a few minutes away are, are Ambler's fine, uh, the train line, all the shopping, and, I mean, you can go any direction here into Philadelphia, into New York, and into Doylestown from the train line here. This is a one-of-a-kind, unique, and special area. And as Henry David Thoreau said, I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. So that's it for today. If you like what you heard today, make sure that you tap on the bell so that you can be made aware when we have new videos. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Ambler, then the only way we can help you is if you reach out to us. So shoot us a text, send us an email, uh, schedule time on our calendar for a Zoom call. Let us help you. We can help you make a smooth move into Philadelphia and suburbs. Till next time.